Alright guys, here's a hands-on video for you. Um, I apologize if the video is kind of shaky because I'm actually using my iPhone right now because my camcorder broke a ways back and I'm working on getting another one. But, um, yeah, so this is going to be a video on how to change out your PS3 hard drive. Now, uh, you got the PlayStation 3 here like so and uh, here's my hand so you know this is me. Um, memory card slots, this is the old 80 gigabyte model and I bought a SAT hard drive, it's 360 gigs and I'm going to show you how to put this hard drive and replace the one that you have inside. Now the newer PS3 models as well also have a hard drive inside them uh, and they come out pretty much the same way so there's a little tab on the bottom half of uh, the PS3 which you just take a flathead screwdriver and pop that in there and pop it out gently and open that up and you will expose the port again this is on the bottom side so to determine which is the bottom side the side you would stand it up on if you wanted to stand it up vertically now there is a little blue screw right there so first thing you want to do is remove that blue screw this keeps the hard drive bay in place so what you're going to do is take that blue screw out and then take this little handle slide the hard drive towards the front and then pull out the whole junction and you will see that you get the whole hard drive and there's the hard drive area kind of dusty in there but uh, I'll fix that later so now that you got the hard drive out here's what you're going to do now and I don't know how the hell I'm going to do this with holding the camera so uh, I'm going to show you basically what you need to do there's four screws on the side there's two on one side here Ta -da. see those two screws they're Phillips head so you're only going to need a Phillips head screwdriver and then there's another two on the other side as you can see so there's the two there and there's the two on that side so you're going to need to remove those screws so I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'll be right back Okay, so now that I've removed the screws, as you can see, I have not changed the hard drive whatsoever yet. You're going to slide the hard drive out, and uh, the way it's going to come out is the SATA ports are going to be on the slide that's exposed for it to come out. So you're just going to slide that hard drive out like so. I'll take this out of here, just like that place that down like this and now simply just take your new hard drive make sure the SATA ports are facing the direction of where it slides in so the SATA ports have to go in where they will be exposed slide that on in there like that so as you can see the SATA ports are exposed you don't want the SATA ports on this side you want the SATA power and data stream on this side and now all you're going to do is screw the screws back in. So I'm going to go do that, and I'll be right back yet again. All right, so now that the screws are back in and everything, you can see the screws are back in. I have the 360 gig SATA drive plugged in. Where's the memory on this? Do, 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 do. Where the hell does it show it so I can prove to you? Shut up! Where the fuck did it go? Model, pro, label, hold on. I'll find it. I'm making a video. God. Ooh, video. Yeah, hurry up. Get in here. I need your help. <laughs> okay, this will make it a lot easier. 360, blah, blah. There it is, right there. Three, 360 gigs. There you go. You want to hold this for me? Okay, so... Got four screws in, nice and easy, 360 gig, new hard drive. All you do, slide that in like that, pop it in, make sure it's snug, slide it forward, plug it into place. You're just going to take your little blue screw, screw that back on in there to secure that. Thumb. Like that, pop your junction back in, your little cap. That's how you change the hard drive. Now, two things you want to know. One, 
Can't be over 360 gigs or else won't be compatible with the first model. Second models, it doesn't fucking matter. Secondly, format it to NTFS or else when you plug your PS3 in, it's not going to know what the fuck it is. So we're about to do that. Pen and power. I really need a camcorder. Now it's gonna ask what the fuck is going on. Purple. Give it a moment. The hard disk must be formatted. If you format all data on the hard disk, will bleed it be deleted. Well, that doesn't matter because we already did that. So that's why I formatted the NTFS. And it'll read faster if it's formatted the NTFS. So just press yes. Hit the PS button on your controller. Hit yes. Yes again. So let that format. Doesn't take very long. Does a quick format. Amanda says hi. Oh. Incoming call from Kyle, Amanda says, what's up? How many Amandas I know? <laughs> it was the same Amanda. Oh. It was Amanda H. Twice. Who is Amanda H? Amanda Hereford. Who's that? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I met her at Combies. I saw Gene and he said he talked to you at Combies. You have fucked up diabetes. Yeah. You're not doing it. Okay, format is complete. X, let's restart the system. So you just deleted everything off your Xbox? Or your PS3? No, I got it all on that hard drive. Missed right call there. from Kyle. Fuck that. Alright, anyways. So, now it's going to reboot up. It's purple again. Come up with another message now saying that the firmware needs to be installed. Come on. I'm waiting for cool shit. <laughs> you snorted on my finger. Yeah. Rob, do you have beans? Uh, what? Canned beans. Okay. Alright, so now you can see all you do pretty much is wait. I thought another message came up, but apparently not. It'll just, you know, do all this shit by its own. It's red. Yeah. Like, all your information and shit is going to be stored to your system no matter what. Your trophies will be put over and your save data and everything. Um, your online storage will be there. All that cool stuff. But um, all your save data, remember to back up all your save data before you fucking... Uh, do this or else you're gonna lose all your game saves so then just store them to a removable media device like I did before and uh, if we go to the save data utility and go to the memory stick you'll see all this stuff pop up which is my save data so that'll come up and I'll just have to transfer that over your trophies will be there because your trophies are saved to the system not the HDD also with your user settings and stuff that's also saved to the system. Anything you can't copy over or copy at all is usually saved to the system. Perform the sync. I think I'm still downloading something. Fuck my internet. It takes forever. You were plugged in. Yeah, it's plugged in. I wouldn't have logged into the PlayStation Network. What's this for? That? That's just for anything. What if you just got shocked to hell? So let's go. I better get connected to the other camera. System settings. System information. Let's go load things up. There you go. Free space. 263 gigs out of 298. The rest is system data. So there you go. That's how you change out your hard drive successfully. Pee.